So I wanted to make a video on how much I made from YouTube in AdSense since I started my YouTube channel. Now the point of this video, it's mostly for entertainment, but also for curiosity. And also, I guess, for a little bit of inspiration. I mean, you could tell that I'm not too consistent in uploading videos. Uh, I'm not using any special camera or any special microphone. I don't do any fancy edits on my video. It's basically just recording my screen. So if you look at my numbers, they're pretty low. But if you look at my numbers and then if you know that you can do just one little thing better, then at least it'll give you a good idea of what is possible uh, with YouTube and how achievable it is. So I'll go as far back as I can, but right now let's just talk about the last 28 days. So obviously I haven't posted in a while, probably over, I would say over two months I didn't post. And I st I'm starting to post again, but as, I, as you can see with the few videos that I'm doing, it's generating about $32 of AdSense in the last 28 days. I've posted about, I've posted four videos here as you can see. Now I'm trying post more consistently and but it, obviously it's not a, it's not easy when you have a full-time job when you have kids at home making noise really the best time is to, to make videos is when they go to bed but then when they go to bed I'm tired as well and I'd rather sleep as well sometimes I might have the opportunity but then something else comes up either uh, it's tax season so I'm just too busy with tax season or sometimes I, I get sick, so I just can't speak. And then the bad momentum just keeps going. It's hard to break that bad momentum and then stay consistent and being disciplined in uploading videos. So I'm gonna try to pick a schedule. Ideally, I want to post a video every day because I noticed that consist consistency makes a big difference. Um, but obviously, let's be realistic. I haven't posted for over two months, so I'm pretty sure I won't be able to post every day. So I'm going to try to do three days a week and I'll try to be consistent with that as much as possible. And then if it's going well for a while, then I could increase uh, the frequency. So yeah, so let's look at when I first started. Actually, let's look at lifetime. I guess we could look at lifetime. So lifetime shows here 15,000. Actually, I didn't even know that. That's not bad. So 15,000 lifetime. I know I started end of 2017. Here, let's see if I could pick a, um, oh, there you go, custom, and let's do, what is this, this is 2012, no, so let's do 2017, and then let's, yeah, let's keep it July, and then let's do 2018, let's see what this gives us, I'm going to be able to see up close, so I guess these are the views. With the videos oh yeah and um, at the beginning i wasn't even sure what i wanted to do i i wanted remember if you remember my channel was called shiab's blog so i just wanted to talk about whatever i wanted to talk about but then i realized that it's not uh, it doesn't it won't help a, cha a channel grow if you're if you don't pick a niche if if you don't focus on one topic because you're not going to have the same audience I wanted to talk about chess, travel, motorcycles, uh, and obviously personal finance, but it's not going to be the same audience. So if I, I needed a different channel for all these topics. So I noticed that most of my videos were about personal finance. So I decided to keep this channel just about personal finance. So at the beginning, I did have videos that were didn't make sense, and um, that might possibly hurt the channel because I was all over the place so let's let's let me just look at 2017 only the full year so one one and 17 and then here will be 31 12 and 2017 let's see what that gives us invalid date yeah why did it go all the way to March 2018 I don't want I don't want March 2018 so January 1st, okay, so I guess the month is over here. I don't know. Yeah, 12, 31, and then 17. There we go. So January, so this is the full year of 2017. That's when I really 
I think that's when I started, but as you can see, I didn't have that many videos, but yeah, but that's when I started. And obviously when you first start, you you can't get monetized right away. You, When I started, you needed, I think a thousand subscribers and 4,000 watch hours before you can monetize your channel. So that probably explains why I made less than a penny in 2017, even though I had videos. As you can see, I, I gained 40 subscribers. Um, and then let's, all right, so let's look at 2018. 2018, so 018. And then here will be eight as well. Apply. So there you go, 1018, 210,000 views. Uh, looks like I had way more videos uploaded and I made a thousand dollars in AdSense. Um, I don't remember, I th I'm pretty sure it was 2018. 2018, I noticed that um, when I uploaded every day, regardless of the quality of the video, when I uploaded every day, um, the chat, the, the ads or the, the revenue was growing every day, regardless of the quality. But as long as I was posting every day, the channel was growing. But I wasn't able to um, stay consistent, sadly. And I still wasn't sure which direction to take. So yeah, so that's 2018. Now let's look at 2019. So custom, simply change nine and nine. Why does it keep going back to seven? All right, apply. So this is January 1st to December 31st, 2019. So this one is showing 280,000 views, so better than 2018. And estimated revenue of $2,350. As you can see, way more videos. And here, what if I click on revenue? I could see the daily amount for AdSense. So yeah, so you can see I've got days of $10. They, yeah, but mostly, as you can see, they're mostly below $10, maybe mostly below $15. Let's see if the, let's see 2020 now. Then after we could probably see which video has generated the most views as well. All right, so this is 2020. So that's half a million views, not bad, with $5,000 of revenue. And you can see I've had days of $30. I don't even remember these days. But yeah, so that's, uh, that's a good sign here. Honestly, I don't even remember the consistency, though, how often I was uploading back then. But yeah, you could definitely see that. Uh, well, you could definitely see what's possible as you keep uploading. So this is 2020. So let's do 2021. So let's start with the, the end date first so that we could change the beginning date. 21, apply. So now you can see that it dropped. Oh, actually in 2020, we had March. Uh, we had since when we had the, the lockdowns and actually the views increased big time during the lockdown without even doing anything. All right, so 2021, um, revenue decreased a little bit, 4,800 almost the same amount of views, half a million views. Uh, let's look at the daily revenues. As, oh wow, I had a day of $45. See, if I actually paid more attention to the analytics and looked at which videos actually generated that revenue on that day, and maybe I just focus on those type of videos. But I, honestly, I didn't necessarily start this channel to make money well i wanted to i want to make money of course but it's mostly i just wanted to talk about what i wanted to talk about so it was more for fun uh, i just wanted to talk about what i'm passionate about and just share my journey and uh, i know that it will come with with money and then once you start then you start getting addicted to trying to make money but um but that wasn't the initial goal but I'm trying to um, to revive the channel. I think it's important to uh, to have an online uh, source of online income source. And honestly, it's very convenient. You could do it from your home or almost anywhere in the world, and simply just make videos 
about what you like about what you like to talk about, sharing your experience. So really can't complain, just need to spend more time and be a bit more disciplined and be more consistent. Now obviously another factor that helps or maybe another factor that made me inconsistent in uploading videos is most of my content was talking about my trades. So then when my trades don't go well, then I have less content to talk about. I have less to talk about, but I guess even if my trades go bad, I should make videos about those bad trades. Sometimes I do, but then I'm so discouraged by the bad trades. I don't feel like making videos, right? So that's the, that's another reason why I have been inconsistent with my videos. All right, let's look at 22. 22, 1,600, what happened there? 22, I'm trying to remember what happened, 2022. That was last year, yeah, I didn't upload that much. Yeah, that makes sense. So let's look at the daily revenues, yeah, around $10. Okay, oh, wow, <laughs> I have days worth $1. All right, nothing good to say here. You could, you could already see from the views, 145,000 views instead of half a million views. Now it looks like 2023, which is not over, of course, but yeah, $572. You can see the videos here, the difference in videos uh, being uploaded. Yeah, big, big difference. Yeah, that explains it. So yeah, I'm going to start uploading more um, consistently. So I'll, I'll start with this one. I'll be making videos on interactive brokers, just the trades that I'm making in interactive brokers. I'll be making tutorial videos in interactive brokers, tutorial videos with inquest rate, of course and talk about the dividend stocks that I'm buying, maybe show my dividend uh, dividends received every month. Now let's look at which video made, got the most views. So let's go lifetime. Interesting, lifetime got 1.5 million views. That's, that's cool. All right, so the videos with the most views. Oh, right, so you can see here, top earning content lifetime is a tutorial on CIBC Investor's Edge and a tutorial on how to trade options on quest trade so i could definitely make way better videos on this right now stock market for beginners in canada using quest trade yeah these videos are not that great oh yeah how to use margin account yeah that was a good video got a lot of views got a lot of questions on it as well so yeah as you can see it's mostly tutorial videos so i should probably stick to tutorial videos i've got the trading uh, spy credit spreads zero tte I've got the how to file income taxes, so it's mostly tutorials, so yeah, I guess I'll stick to that. Let's look at, if we look at the monthly for this year, yeah, last 365 days, you can see January of 2023 was 105. So this is when I was barely posting videos, and as you can see, I'm still getting something without posting any videos. Uh, but you can see uh, it's it's it keeps dropping after every month. So that's the thing with YouTube, it's not completely passive because uh, if you stop posting videos, your uh, your your views are going to drop. Uh, so I went from January $105 per month to in August was $33 uh, per month. Uh, let's look at 2022. So 22 monthly, I had January 251 and 61 all the way down to in September. It's not even in, oh, is it, oh, it's an order of revenue, maybe. Yeah, it's an order of revenue. So January was the highest month and September was the lowest month in 2022. Uh, let's look at 2021. Pretty sure um, 2020 was my highest year, or I had the highest month in uh, 2020 because of because of COVID. So this is 2021. My highest month was January as well, 693. And then the lowest month was August, $277. And then let's look at 2020. So zero and zero. So zero, yeah, there you go. So what April? Pretty sure March was the highest. Okay. So April was the highest at 585. And the lowest was January with 239. And I think that's, yeah, there you go. That's the year where I made $5,300 for the year. But yeah, so if I had just stayed consistent at this point, it would have grown slowly, slowly, gradually over a thousand. And 
then gradually over 2000 but we just need to stay consistent with it of course and let's look at 2019 i think 2019 is not a good year let's just look at it quickly here so 2019 yeah okay at least it's consistent yeah it's, a, it's around 200 dollars every month yeah, so I guess I was more consistent here. Was I growing, though, from January and then May? Sometimes you can't control because the there are certain months that are higher than others, regardless of your uh, consistency. But still very important to, uh, to remain consistent. So I'm going to try three videos a week and see how that goes. And I'm not going to... I'm not going to spend much time on editing or... I'm going to focus more on actually what's being said on the content, not necessarily on how the content is presented, because that's not my strength. My, I think my strength is going to be mostly the, the content itself or the tutorials explaining things. So that's what I'll focus on. And if you have any suggestions, as always, leave in the comment section below. And don't forget, I've got referral links for Questrade and Interactive Brokers in the description below the video. Thanks for watching.